Get ready with me and I'll show you how to put on your master's cap and gown. If your gown is a little wrinkled out of the bag, cool iron or steam it, but don't wash or dry clean it. You won't be able to wear your gown through security, but once you're through, make sure you put on your gown with a zipper in the front. Your hands go through the wrist openings and the back of the sleeves hang down. Sleeves should fall below the elbow and above the palm of the hand. The hem length should fall below the knee and above the ankle. Stoles should be placed first. Make sure the ends are even. I fasten my hood around my neck so that it hangs down my back. This small cord attaches to my shirt. I recommend a safety pin to hold the hood in place. Make sure the velvet portion on the back is still displayed above the tail. The maroon and gold should be visible too. You may need a friend to help you out with this. If you have any trouble placing your hood, there will be people at the ceremony to assist you. I place my cap on my head. If you choose to decorate your cap, be mindful to use polite imagery and language and don't block anyone's view. No matter what, the pointed part should be in front. Your cap should sit one inch above your eyebrows. The flat part of your cap should be level with the floor. And now we're ready to graduate. Congratulations, Sun Devils.